Super. Bon, nous. That's an equally good question. How you doing, Fiff? I'm fine, mate. How are you? I'm all right, yeah. Back up on the moors? Back up on Dartmoor, yeah. Yeah. Where are we this week? Uh, we're Princetown. Princetown? The Princetown area this week. We might have stood outside the entrance to Dartmoor Prison. Yeah. Once again, uh, in true style, we've chosen the perfect weather weekend to uh, participate in such a walk. It was going to be a wild camp, but uh, the beast from the east put a stop to that, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that we necessarily weren't prepared to sleep on Dartmoor in the snow. It was more to do with the fact that we just couldn't get to Dartmoor. So it's just another walk today, which is doesn't matter. Still getting to see some Dartmoor that we haven't seen already. Yeah. Like the prison. Hell of a prison. Have you seen the prison on them? Not to be confused with a prism. <clears throat> no, or a rhombus. Yeah. Definitely not to not be confused a with a rhombus. So anyway, we're here at Prince Town. We're just going to do a circular walk. We don't even know where we're going yet, what we're taking in. We're going to sort of head up to North Hennessy Tor. That's the highest point around here. That's actually one of the peakery high points, in case you're interested. We're going to witness Dartmoor thawing out after the beast from the east. Yeah. And uh, just do what we do, aren't we? Yeah. Just do what we do. It's uh, not like walking on snow, it's more like walking on slush puppy. It's all just sort of, sort of turned into mushy ice now. The big thaw, it's gonna leave the ground sodden. It's gonna be some wet ground to walk today, I should imagine. See how these boots hold up. Quite interesting conditions for walking today, in and out of snow. Some of the ground is still cold enough to be frozen solid, some of it it's quite soft and muddy still. Obviously with all the snow that we've had melting, there's gonna be a lot of water about. So I'm guessing any streams or rivers are gonna be quite high. And then we got intermittent shade and sunshine, you know? Just adds such another level. Looking at all of this with the, the snow on it and then the intermittent sunshine. Looking down now on Prince Town. Um, and here's some information about Prince Town. Prince Town owes its existence to the vision of one man, Thomas Tywit. He was Lord Warden of the Stanoese and private secretary to the Prince of Wales. By the end of the 18th century, Tywit had established a tall royal farm and a vision to tame and cultivate the open moorland found in a small settlement he called Prince's Town. Do you want me to test it? You feel me going in? You gonna go in? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> so that snow down there that Trev's filming is quite deep. Uh, I might not go into it at all, but we're going to do a little leap of faith because I just went into that and it's quite deep. And then we'll try and wade our way out of it. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite deep. <laughs> My foot's stuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I might just look for somewhere else. <laughs> I'm edging down here. There's got to be uh, lots of deep there. No, I'm no fun. <laughs> Just get back up here and jump in the f snow, you big puff. <laughs> Mangina. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
mate, come on. Right. Just stop filming then. I was going to film myself saying how boring you are. Oh, snow's got some depth to it, isn't it, boy? Isn't it? So here we are now, approaching North Hennessy Tor, which sits at 517 metres above sea level. And then we're going to try and work out where we're going to go next. I think Foggin Tor. Quarry is down it somewhere. I've seen some nice photos of that. So, uh, yeah, it'll be nice to get down there, have a look. Ticking off more of the 365, exploring more of this Dartmoor of ours. Found some Plymouth pebble art. Uh, yeah, North Hennessy Tor, and um, it's quite good. Uh, and you know, congratulations to Kenzie H, because we found it and we, we couldn't pass it by without picking it up and documenting. So we're here on North Tennessee, no, no, not Tennessee. We're up on North Hennessy Tor, overlooking Princetown, and I thought this was a great place to tell you another Dartmoor Legends. <laughs> don't cringe. I was don't trying to hold back a laugh. A long time ago, I don't know exactly how long ago, but there was a woman walking home between Prince Town and Two Bridges. She had nearly reached the bridge that crosses the Blackerbrook when a funny little man leapt out of the hedge in front of her and started dancing. The woman was quite alarmed by this. She didn't know whether to carry on or to turn around, but she decided that she would continue on her route. Fearing, however, that she might be pixie-led or enticed off of the correct path and lose her sense of direction, she adopted a classic charm against the pixies, which was untucking her pockets. Proves that she ain't got no money worth nicking or something. 
Yeah, that's an impression. So what pixies are just muggers, what we now call chavs. She walked onto the bridge, despite the fact that the pixie was still in front of her. Quickly, she reached down, she grabbed the little fella, and she stuck it into her basket. She latched the basket up. She carried on walking, and the pixie was inside, gibbering this mad, crazy language that she couldn't understand. She refused to let this scare her, and she carried on walking home briskly. Eventually, the talking ceased. When she slowly opened the basket to look inside, the pixie had gone f***ed off somewhere. She walked home completely baffled but proud to have actually found and captured a pixie. Not that she could bring it to anyone because it's gone. F***ed off, isn't he? Yeah, it's just talking. Crap. It's not much of a legend. Well, they're all a bit like that, aren't they? So is that's, that that's a story. Is that it? Yeah, it's called The Woman Who Caught a Pixie Near Princetown. The Woman Who Made Up a Story About Catching a Pixie Near Princetown. It's all Princeton. in here. John Pegg's After Dark on Dartmoor. Collected legends and tales. Well, you don't have to believe me. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just, it's a legend. Well, I know, but you obviously felt it was worth reading that out. It just associated to Princetown, and we're at Princetown, you know? It's I think in the time that it took you to read that, I could have written something better. Yeah, but they won't know how long it took me. I'll edit it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, we're leaving North Hennessy Tour. And I was meant to say something else up there. I don't know if you read Country Walking Magazine or not. Apparently the second best-selling walking publication after Trail Magazine. So I thought it was a good magazine, so I thought I'd subscribe to this. I wrote a letter in, tell them how I loved walking, mentioned Summit or nothing, sent them in a selection of photos, and uh, what went and happened, Nate? They only went and published the letter, didn't they? They didn't just publish the letter. We got letter of the month. I've won a pair of 160 pound Berg House boots. So yeah, chuffed a bit. But not only that, we got a plug for Summit or Nothing. Yep. One of Nave's photos got published. Made my day, that did. So anyway, that's Country Walking Magazine. I presume it's the March edition. Have a look, go and buy it. Then you can see us in there. Oh, map's coming out. We're trying to find Foggin Tor Quarry at the moment. Yeah, I think we just go straight over that, that hill in front of us. You see that little faint track? I think we just follow that track over. Oh, well. Just put it down there. Anything to invite home about this tiny little patch of snow we're walking through. But I'm up to my knees in places. We're cutting across now. We've decided not to keep walking that way because it looks a bit wetter over there. So we thought we'd come in this way, find this track over here, walk up that, and then go and find Fogging Tour. and across the moor still. We don't really have a plan today. Just thought we'd get out whilst we could, see if we can catch the end of the snow, which we have. Just enjoy ourselves, really. I think that's the thing about Dartmoor. I think in spite of what our videos might portray, it doesn't always have to be, you know, a massive, important adventure with overnight wild camping and survival skills. The packs today are pretty much useless. I mean, the only thing I've used my pack for so far is uh, carrying my tripod. Considering I've got my tarp and my sleeping bag and there might be considered a little bit of overkill. You know, it's just is what you make of it, isn't it? You know, as long as you've got some waterproof trousers, some decent boots and a jacket, just get out there and enjoy it. You know, grab a thermos, get out there and go have some fun, you know, go see some shit.
So here we come now, fogging tours over that's here. Miss. Yeah, that's great miss there. And then little miss was halfway down in front of me. Yeah, so uh, yeah, fogging tour quarry now, just over here. Make that swell tour. That's King's Tour over there. That's where we've done our accent training, wasn't it? Cox Tour, great staple, little staple, middle staple. We didn't do little staple, did we? Rippon Tour. Rippon's over the back somewhere. Yeah, and so was Didn't Cox. we go off somewhere for Cox. a standing stone? We didn't go off hunting for Cox, no. no. <laughs> This is a beautiful little, interesting little area. Is this Magrafia? Oh, I think it is, yeah. Who out there knows what that's a reference to. Is this where the mice build the planets? Yeah. Might meet slightly bark fast in a minute. When we went to Gidley, uh, we was going to do this instead, and we went to Gidley. Now, it was a milder day, still cold. But imagine if we had a gun here then, we'd have missed this. Look at this, frozen lake. It's pretty awesome. Well, there we go, that was Fogging Tour Quarry. Beautiful, interesting. Make a good location for a film. Now we're gonna move on, keep on the path. Lots of places we can see around here, because we're just gonna keep going. We haven't even had a brew yet. Again, so far, touch wood, we've uh, lucked out with the weather here. It could rain any minute, but we've got this bright sunshine, dark skies again. Just lights everything up. And this is a, an amazing area to sort of see in this bright sunshine. You see here the walls. This must have been quite a big building back in its day. But it was impressive. I'd like to see an artist's impression of it, or if there's any existing photos. I don't know how old it was. Before you ask, he hasn't gone up to that horse. He was taking a photo of a horse from a distance and it's walked up to him. I think it likes the camera.
So we've left Fogintor Quarry and all the ruins over there. I was over there and my battery ran out on my Panasonic. Don't matter, got another one. Put that battery in, it's flat. It's all right, I've got my DSLR, got that out. Realise I ain't got any batteries with me for the DSLR. Got my Sony. That's gonna run out of battery in a minute. I've got two more batteries in there, hopefully they're charged. The joys of filming on the track. Anyway, now we're gonna take a look up here, which is Swell Tour. So, um, I can't even remember the name of the place that we're at. It's pretty beautiful. It's another big, uh, like, quarry behind King's Tour. There's loads of, like, abandoned mine buildings. Well, what an area, again. Dartmoor never ceases to amaze me. It is breathtaking. Always the views are breathtaking. What you stumble across, you know, this old quarry in here. Just a sight to behold. You know, for an impromptu what I mean, we didn't even know really until this morning where we was going, you know? We are just like, ooh, let's just head in the Prince Town direction. Really beautiful things to see. Can't really get over uh, how fruitful this, this trip's been, you know? I don't think the camera does it justice. You'll definitely have to get out and find this one for yourself. Now we're getting off of Swell Tor Quarry and we're going down to Ingratour next. Got to find the road, follow it back down.
Well, we're climbing now. We're going to go up this tour, Ingra tour. It's only a little one, 339 metres above sea level. Then we're going to, going to make our way across to the tour over there behind us, Leiden tour. And then I think we're going to make our way back to the car. Let's see if we can get back before it rains. At the summit. <sighs> you all coming up? Oh, I don't know. A couple of bothers. <laughs> so we're up on the top of Ingra Tour. It's quite nice view, isn't it? Now. You don't want to see me. You want to see the views. Are you ready? Yeah. On Dartmoor. We're at Dartmoor. Near Princetown. On a rock. See? Doing this shouting. Being really loud and rude. And obnoxious. If you guys can see this, but there's two big, curious, round stones that look engineered. I mean, possibly for grinding or something. Who knows? They're definitely they would occur naturally, I wouldn't say. So we're leaving Ingra Tour over there. Now we're heading up Leiden Tour. It's a slight climb, nothing too much. It's hard to believe that we are in the 4th of March. You know, I always associate March with the month where spring sort of starts to show its head, like, you know? You know, the daffs come out, you get a bit of color back in the hedgerows, but today, on Dartmoor, traipsing through snow in the aftermath of the beast from the east. It's, uh, it's hard to believe that spring is anywhere near us, you know, and maybe we're destined for another month of winter, but who knows. Ah, it must be you. I don't know if you guys can see it over there, but that is rain, and that is heading towards us. We are about to get wet. We better keep ahead of it. Time to tuck the cameras away, so we're going to do a quick shout. Ready? Summit or nothing! On Leiden Tour! On the tour that Trev said the name of. Leiden Tour. There's the road back to Princetown. So we're trying to find a route over there to Princetown. It is going to come down here. So rain's coming down now. Legs are soaked through. We've uh, started walking, trying to find the path that we want to meet. And we've sort of done the same old trick we always do, taking a beeline. We've ended up going through bog again. Not as boggy as last time, but it's a bit more solid than we're used to, but still fairly wet underfoot. We decided to give up the idea of the path and try and head for the road. Ah. Oh. I cannot wait to get my Burghouse boots. My feet are properly soaked after that. I was in bog up to my ankles. We did wonder if the reason we weren't going straight through the bog is that it was still frozen. Get my new boots, completely waterproof. Get some gaiters, I'm away. Well, the rain subsided a bit. We found the road and we probably got about four or five kilometers back to the car. <laughs> Especially if we go on the road, it's quite a long, long way around, but we're hoping we can find the track again 
up here somewhere. And then that cuts straight back into the town, cutting a big corner of the road out. You can see the track over there now. Don't know if you can hear that squelching. It's not the ground under my feet. That is my feet. There's a track here, look. There's a track here anyway, isn't there? Oh, the day feels like it's chilled out again now, Trip. Yeah. It felt a little bit irate on the road, didn't it? Yeah. The, the noise of the cars going past as well. And the, it? the panic that ensued after we realised it was going to start raining. <laughs> Did go a bit crazy there, didn't it, now for a minute? It felt like it, didn't it? Yeah. Make sure that comes out in the edit, yeah? Well, the rain's come again. We're not far from the car. I'm about as wet as I'm gonna get. It doesn't bother me anymore. That was a, a good day, right to the end. One tour too many, I think, wasn't it, Nath? Way of the hill, though. That's the way of the hill. Well, there we go. That was a circular walk. Oh, where is it then? 14 point... <laughs> 14 point two kilometers. Sorry, this is... This <laughs> smoke's ridiculous. 14 point two kilometers, we was out for five hours and 49 minutes. It's not no. bad. No, it's not a race. We need to stop all the time. Nate takes photos, I do shots. Not like vodka shots. And no. Spiced rum. Spiced rum. Oh, I've got some rum in my bag, we didn't have any. We drink rum because we're pirates. So that was Prince Town, wasn't it, Nath? I really yeah. like that, isn't it? Prince, Prince Town. Prince Town, hi Prince Town, Prince thanks Town. Prince Town. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Well, steaming up in there now. So, uh, good time to sign off, buddy. I've had fun. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Love you.